important side effects of phenothiazines. Side effects of phenothiazines can be classified into different types. First one, extra pyramidal side effects. Second one, hormonal side effects. Third one, common side effects. And fourth one, neuroleptic malignant syndrome. And finally, other types of side effects. So let us start one by one. So let us start with the first one, extra pyramidal side effects. Dopaminergic pathways are three types, nigrostatal pathway, mesolimbic or mesocortical pathway, and chogorohypophyseal pathway. Nigrostatal pathway is responsible for control of motor functions in the body, whereas mesolimbic and mesocortical pathway is responsible for the control of behavior. And finally, chogorohypophyseal pathway is responsible for the control of hormonal release. It increases the growth hormone release as well as it decreases the prolactin release. Now, phenothiazines act as antipsychotics by acting on this mesolimbic or mesocortical pathway, thereby they control the psychotic behavior. At the same time, these phenothiazines can also show their effect on the nigrostatal pathway as well as chubrohypophyseal pathway, leading to few of the side effects. So, for the first side effect, extra pyramidal side effects are observed because of their effect on the nigrostatal pathway. So let us see the extra pyramidal side effects caused by the phenothiazines. Phenothiazines act as antagonists on the dopamine receptors present on the nigrostatal pathway, thereby they produce motor disturbances like extra pyramidal side effects. So these extra pyramidal side effects include acute dystonias, tardive dyskinesia, and akathisia. So these are called as extra pyramidal side effects. As phenothiazines are the typical antipsychotics, mainly acting on the D2 receptors, they have more chance to produce the extra pyramidal side effects compared with the atypical antipsychotics. So the first extra pyramidal side effect is the acute dystonias. Acute, so they are shortly developed after initiation of the treatment. And dystonia, dystonia indicates the disturbance in the tone of the muscle which results in the muscle rigidity and muscle spasm. So acute dystonia results in muscle stiffness, neck stiffness, difficulty in swallowing and difficulty in breathing. These symptoms are reversible in nature, so they can be restored by stopping of the drive. So whenever these symptoms are observed, it is better to stop the drug, not to restore the symptoms. Second type of extra pyramidal side effect is the tardive dyskinesia. Tardive means they are slowly developing, so they are observed after long-term treatment of the phenothiazines. And dyskinesia, so these are the involuntary motor movements and resemble just like the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. So these include abnormal movements of face, limbs, and legs. And these symptoms are irreversible in nature, so they cannot be stopped even by stopping of the drug. So these side effects should be closely monitored, and whenever they are precipitated, they cannot be restored easily. And third type of extrapyramal side effect is the akathisia. Akathisia is the restlessness. Particularly, phenothiazines produce the motor restlessness because of the involuntary movements. Second type of side effects caused by the phenothiazines are hormonal side effects. Phenothiazines again act as an antagonist on the dopamine receptors on the chobrohypophyseal pathway. So one of the hormone affected by this antagonism is the prolactin. So phenothiazines can increase prolactin levels resulting in the hyperprolactinemia. This hyperprolactinemia may lead to the gynecomastia, so enlargement of the breast, both in the men as well as women. So phenothiazines can produce the gynecomastia as one of the side effects because of their hormonal action. Third one is the common side effects produced by phenothiazines. These are the side effects produced by phenothiazines because of their action on the different types of receptors. So the first one is the sedation. Phenothiazines are 
actually called as major tranquilizers because they produce a sedation as well as a calmness in the patient. So the sedation of phenothiazines mainly attributed to their block of the H1 receptors that is the histamine receptors. Similarly, they also produce weight gain which is mainly because of the 5-HT block. And phenothiazines also cause the hypotension and dizziness. These are attributed to the their action of alpha receptor block. Finally, if you have the symptoms like dry mouth, constipation, blurred vision, and urinary retention, all these side effects are observed because of the action of phenothiazines on the cholinergic receptors. So phenothiazines can block the different types of receptors like the histamine, 5-HT, alpha-1, as well as cholinergic receptors, all this resulting in the, of the side effects of the phenothiazines. And fourth type of uh, side effect which is fatal is neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Phenothiazines can act on the skeletal muscle and they increase the intracellular calcium levels within the skeletal muscle by increased raise of the calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So these raised intracellular calcium levels within the skeletal muscle results in the more skeletal muscle contraction producing symptoms like hyperpyrexia. So increase in the body temperature, muscle rigidity, mental retardation and tachycardia. So all these symptoms are collectively called as neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Since this syndrome is related with the increased release of the calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum, few of the drugs like dantrolene can be used to treat the condition which blocks the release of the calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. And other side effects of phenothiazines mainly include obstructive jaundice. This is a very rare condition shown by the chlorpromazine which can increase the bilirubin levels by obstruction of this uh, secretory pathway. Similarly, phenothiazines can also show weight gain as a common side effect. So another important effect of this phenothiazines is the increase in the QT interval within the ECG. Whenever QT interval increases in the ECG, it may lead to the fatal arrhythmias. So phenothiazines can precipitate one of the condition torsi d pointis. That's why phenothiazines should be carefully given with other drugs which also produce the torsi d pointis. For example, potassium channel blockers mainly precipitate the torsi d pointis. They should be carefully given with the phenothiazines. So in this way, phenothiazines produce a number of side effects. Among these, Extra permanent side effects are more troublesome which should be strictly controlled in the patients.